Hey everyone, just wanted to uh, make a quick video. I did a little research and uh, you probably, you may already know this, but I, I wanted to find out what I could do with all of my compost. Now, I know I can put it in my flower beds and turn it in the soil, but I'm not pulling any crops out just yet, so there's really no need to add it just yet. So what I wanted to learn how to do was uh, turn my compost into compost tea. So I've done a little research, like I said, and I know there's two types of compost teas. There's brewed compost tea, and then there's steeped compost tea. And in a nutshell, brewed compost tea is when you take your compost, you can put it in some kind of container, like a bucket, five gallon bucket. You um, put it in a, uh, you know, a burlap sack or a nylon uh, bag or something where it keeps it together. You fill the bucket with water, put the uh, burlap sack of compost in there, use a aerator. This could be a store-bought uh, fish tank pump where you can pick up at any dollar store or even at the fish supply place and a air stone. Plug it in and you let the circulation of the oxygen happen and the oxygen feeds the beneficial bacteria and you wait 24 to 48 hours and voila, you've got some really healthy beneficial bacteria, nematodes and all that stuff to add to your uh, soil. You can either pour it with the, in, with directly into the roots or you can filter it, put it in a spray bottle and uh, spray the foliage and uh, that will then supply um, your plant with all the nutrients it needs and if you put it on the foliage then it uh, inhibits the growth of funguses and mildews and things like that. I'm not going to be doing the brood method today. I'm going to show you a real simple, easy, quick way to get a nice boost in your garden by using the steeped method. Now, if you think about iced tea, you put tea bags in water and you let the uh, tea steep out of the bags into the water where it's absorbed and you have tea. So the same method applies when it comes to the uh, composting method. What I'm going to do is just grab a couple of handfuls of compost. And this is really, really organic stuff here, guys. It's not fully broken down. Um, I guess we'll grab one more since that was kind of a small handful. I'm trying to avoid grabbing too much of the leaves I've added. So here we go. We've got, uh, we've got the compost. I'm going to break it up a little bit in here. And just to make sure all these little uh, collections of paper and leaves and sticks and vegetable matter, plant matter is broken up pretty good. All right, so no real science to it, a couple of handfuls. Now, when it comes to the water, people will say that you probably should be pretty careful about adding regular tap water to it because if you do that, tap water contains chlorine. Chlorine's main purpose is to kill bacteria. So if you're going to use tap water because you don't have a rainwater collector or you don't have distilled water, then I would recommend you put the water in the bucket, let it sit out in the sun for maybe 24 hours or 48 hours, and then let the uh, light or the sunlight break down the chlorine and eliminate it so that way there's not a lot of chlorine or hardly any, if at all, chlorine in the water. But I just so happen to have here a rainwater collection system. So what I'm gonna do is obviously benefit from that real quick. And I'm going to take my rainwater, see if I can get that set up. I've got a nice little spigot on this. Let me get down here. And if I turn that on, I've been using this. You can already see I've got myself some rainwater. So I'm gonna use this water to uh, to get this all done up. You want to keep the water a little high so that it adds the oxygen to the water. As you can see, it's bubbling. And I'm going to have this a little higher than obviously normal just so that I can add the oxygen to it. And I'll be right back when I have the final product. Thank you. All right, guys. Now that uh, I got it all uh, filled full of my rainwater, I like to take a stick. I got this old broken stick here. It used to be a stake. And I now give it a nice mixing. 
you know, get a lot of that uh, oxygen flowing throughout this bucket. We'll mix that up real good, make sure all the clumps of compost are broken down. Once we have that mixed up, I find that taking this big old bucket and carrying it around is probably not very efficient. A, it's heavy, and B, um, you don't really get a good pour when you pour it on the plant. So I like to take a little plastic cup like this. And again, what I like to do, I'll give an example here, is just coat the roots. Maybe a uh, cup in every plant if you really want to, oops, sorry, if you really want to go crazy. Don't know if I need to do that. But anyway, I put that in there just like that. Now what I do before I put it on the plants is I give them a little bit of water just so that we get good um, flow through here. A little bit of moisture so it doesn't just sit here and just sit at the top. It actually goes all the way to the root system. So anyway, that's, uh, if you want to give your garden a quick boost and you have a lot of, you have access to your compost, there's a quick, easy, steeped method for making compost tea. Appreciate everyone joining me today. Hope you liked the video. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments, please uh, leave them below. And uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Share the video if you'd like to. Thanks, everyone.